HotWireFoamCutterInfo.com presents The Hand Block Cutter. The Hand Block Hot Wire Foam Cutter is the easiest and cheapest hot wire foam cutter you can create. Some use this to shape RC plane wings, whereas others use it as a quick tool to cut large sections of foam. This cutter also utilizes alligator clips for electrical attachment to the power supply. Please reference the website for tutorials on how to create these alligator clips. You will need to start by cutting a 2x2 plank of wood into equal lengths around 6 inches or 15 centimeters. At most hardware stores, you can find a variety of open or closed eye hooks. Choose a size that suits your needs, but smaller closed eye hooks are recommended. Once you have chosen an eye hook, if you are unsure of the size drill bit required, you will need to select a bit that covers the center portion of your eye hook but does not cover the metal threads. Next, take your blocks of wood and mark the center on both. Once your drill bit is selected, simply drill a hole at each marked reference spot on the blocks of wood. You are now ready to place the closed eye hooks into the blocks of wood. You may start by placing them by hand, but you may require an adjustable wrench to finish the job. And simply repeat the steps for the second block. Once the blocks are assembled, they are now ready for the nichrome wire. Take a length of wire required by your project and attach them directly to the closed eye hooks. You simply have to place the wire through the hook and twist the block to wind the wire tight. And again, repeat for the other block. And now, with both sides complete, taking the blocks in hand allow you to pull the wire tight and provide constant tension while cutting. There you have it, the hand block hot wire foam cutter. And now please wait for a brief tutorial. As you can see, this cutter utilizes alligator clips for attachment to the power supply. The alligator clips allow for an on-the-fly changing of your cutting length. Because the electricity will only flow through the wire that lies between the alligator clips, you can not only alter the length at which you're cutting, but also the temperature of the wire. You may notice that the nichrome is cutting relatively slowly with this length. As I shorten the length between the alligator clips, I am forcing a higher amperage to be drawn from the power supply and thus achieving a higher temperature. But be cautious as the wire that is too short will have too low of a resistance and may glow red hot with the fast current flowing through it. By setting the alligator clips further out, you increase the resistance and slow down the current flow. But even then, as you can see, this wire is much hotter and cutting faster than before. And that's it. Thank you very much.